In this video, we're going to talk about why we cite, and three main ways of incorporating sources into your writing. As a graduate student and conducting research, you'll be keeping track of bibliographic information from a wide variety of books and articles, reports, data, and potentially other sources. So it's critical that you maintain accurate records of where information came from to help with the writing process, but also to help you avoid unintentional plagiarism. You've probably heard it a million times that citation is important. But as a grad student, it's important to know why we cite. In the academic world, you're free to draw from information from any reliable source that you can find, but it's critical that you give it credit. This is true not just for quotations, but for summaries and paraphrases as well. As you become a stronger researcher and writer, you'll begin to realize that good research is highly dependent on other sources of information. There are three main ways to incorporate external sources into your writing. Paraphrase, summary, and direct quotation. In a direct quotation, you use the exact and original wording from the source that you're incorporating within quotation marks. Here, the emphasis is on the original wording of the quote, or it's used in situations where it may be difficult to put into your own words. In a paraphrase, you take the idea of another author and you incorporate it into your own words in around the same amount of words as the original source. In a summary, similar to a paraphrase, you're incorporating the idea of another author in your own words, but here in a very condensed version, summarizing an entire source. Regardless of which method you choose, it's important to remember that quotations, paraphrases, and summaries can only support your argument. They can't speak for you. Also, when you're incorporating your sources, try to avoid repetition. For example, when introducing quotes, avoid saying the author says over and over again. There are literally hundreds of approaches and signal words that you could use to introduce a citation and another source into your writing. These can also add variety to the writing as well. Another helpful tip is to try and avoid the excessive use of quotations. Using paraphrasing and summaries helps to show that you can take an idea from another source, digest it, and translate it into your own words. Quotations can also interrupt the flow of your writing. Try to save quotations for when it's very difficult to translate another saying into your own words. It's also not necessary to incorporate full sentences in your quotations. You can modify them or reduce them in order to incorporate them into the structure of your own sentence. For example, you can use ellipsis to reduce or modify a quote. You can also insert words using square brackets. These are some of the main strategies to remember as you're approaching graduate student research and writing. You can also find more tips and examples in the reference sheets. Thanks for watching, and I hope you feel more confident as you continue your journey as a graduate student.